Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. It's Rad from Radko Tarot and uh, in this whole video we're going to look into Virgo. Weekly Tarot reading December 28, 2020 up to uh, January 3rd, 2021. So uh, before we go to the reading guys, oh my god, before we go to the reading guys, uh, just to let you know that if you do want a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below. And there you're gonna find a link to my website where you can uh, pretty much purchase such. I have a variety of services, so based on your budget and as well your needs, you can choose the one that suits you best. Also in that description, you're gonna find a link to my Facebook page if you're not following me there. You may find it interesting because the content there and the content here, they do, they do have nothing uh, in common. What I mean is that the content into the Facebook page contains live streams and daily tarot guidances and astrology posts. Here are the weekly and occasionally the monthly tarot readings whenever I do have the time to do them. So I keep both contents exclusive. So uh, it won't hurt you to throw an eye if you'd like. And uh, with that being said, let's move to the reading straight away. So the first card for you, that is to be the Queen of, uh, the Queen of Wands, uh, Virgo. And uh, right at the start of the week, it seems that you are going to either clash or unite with that individual Queen of, uh, Queen of Wands. Let me see the other card here. It's going to be the Moon card. It still doesn't say, in fact, um, some of you are going to unite, others are going to clash with this, uh, with this individual here, the Queen of Wands. So what is the Queen of Wands as an individual on its own accord? Well, that is a, a very enthusiastic person. You know, just only enthusiastic, but that is a person who, who pretty much can, and the word is not manipulate, but, but, May, but take on full advantage of the situation. The Queen of Wands is usually the, uh, the center of the company. The Queen of Wands is usually the person that works, uh, the, the, that works in a such a way that in a less time they are performing quite, uh, or they are getting many things done. Now, why is that? Well, the, the Queen of Wands is the center of the company because the Queen of Wands has a very big understanding into the human nature. Pretty much that individual here, that person, knows what anybody needs. It knows where their strengths and their weaknesses and knows how to use them as well. Call it, if you will, manipulation. I would say good awareness about the human nature. The other thing in terms of uh, career, Queen of Wands has a very sharpened and acute business sense. It's pretty much whenever there is a business problem, the Queen of Wands always has the best solution and the easiest solution out there. So as you can see here, we do have a formidable foe or a very valuable ally. Which one is going to be? It will differ for each one of you because the Moon card which falls next, it says that your paths were meant to cross or this, what is happening to, in between you two is meant to happen, at least to you, all right? Because it sets some kind of a, uh, the word is not karma, but it sets some kind of a stage. It sets some kind of a fate that is starting to unravel itself and it will become uh, pretty clear in the future. However, that is something that you were meant to experience. And that's why one of the two will be true. You either are going to be baffled why that person is so much against you. You haven't ate her, pie, her or his pie. You haven't slept with her or his husband or a wife. Okay, why they are so aggressive towards you. And if that's the case, if they are aggressive towards you, that is so they can pretty much, uh, the word is not intimidate, but more or so forcefully uh, put you on a track that you are going to end up at the place that you are meant to be. They don't know that, you don't know that, something provokes that aggression, okay? And based by that aggression, you're gonna be set on a certain course, that it is a course that you need to make. Should that be an ally? then this signifies that throughout the week, you will have a very big thing to tackle with, that you may not be able to deal with it alone, 
and that person out of nowhere comes about and offers help because it knows how things work, it, it has a solution, it pretty much the recipe of success comes here. And you're gonna be baffled, why? I mean, what does this person want? What, why this person comes about and helps me? Well, the reasons here are more vague than in the, in the first example or into the first version of, uh, of unfoldment of the reading. But, um, and that is because she does have a, she, I'm saying she because it's a queen of wands, but it may, but just as well may be a, a male. They do have a hidden agenda that does not concerns you. Take it that way, that helping you it helps themselves, but it doesn't take away from you. I, it's like an enemy to my enemy, it's my friend, something like that. So it doesn't take away from you. It's, it has no uh, obligation of return, but she or he is not going to tell you the full picture. Uh, for example, they may tell you why, not, they may tell you, yeah, why they're helping you, but they're not gonna tell you the core of the matter. They will tell you why, for example, I hate that person, right? That's why I'm helping you, but they will not gonna tell you why they're ha hating them, okay? So there will be something hidden in there that is going to eat you from, from within and throughout the course of that partnership or a competition, you're gonna feel very uneasy and very uncertain, very insecure, fantasizing, you know, what could be the driving force of the Queen of Wands, that individual, but um, you will not gonna know because the moon shrouds those aspects into, uh, into darkness so nobody can see them. Because if you can't see them, you are gonna change or alter your course of destiny. And here with the moon card, you are definitely supposed to walk that path. That's why it's not given to you to know those circumstances so you do not deviate from that path. Take it like karma. The third card we have for you, that is going to be the Four of Wands and this cooperation may be actually a short lived here because the Four of Wands sees that halfway throughout the week or says that halfway throughout the week, you are either both are going to complete, com uh, accomplish a big thing or you both are going to again accomplish a big thing. What I mean here is like one, one of the ways is that accomplishing a thing, bringing it to its final end of a uh, that you have toiled for many many uh, for a lot of time beforehand before that queen of wands comes about and either through competition that provokes you to be simply better and completed or through a help that the queen comes about helps you to uh, to complete it the other way of the four of wands it is that completing it like completing a a portion of it that was the most important one and from there you know you can pretty much fork it around the way you please which could be true for the first version as well so let's let's say here that uh, this partnership is going to be short-lived uh, the very um, the very least uh, well it's going to be short-lived in a sense of the narrative but you can still be friend and help each other after the completion happens but the point is that based on this partnership or a um, competition uh, midway through the week you are going to finalize a very important cycle of development that you have toiled on for a very long time, right? And uh, simply all aspects of it, all details of it are going to be, um, are not going to be overlooked or they are going to be attended to. So it's a, it's a perfect completion what we do have here. Next one, that is going to be the Queen of Cups. And um, this is another individual that comes about, okay? And uh, Queen of Cups, it's a, it's a person who pretty much, um, how can I say, calms you down in those cases. You know, the adrenaline is rushing and you are still in the motion of that uh, either competition or a partnership. But the reason to, to have that competition or a partnership in now, is now gone, but you are still, you know, in the mood of it. And the Queen of Cups, it is someone who pretty much keeps you in balance. It's somebody who puts that, uh, or is kind of like pressing your brakes so you do not burn out. 
and um, there at that point towards the end of the week you can expect you know to spend some time with a very peaceful and humble individual that uh, is capable to uh, to talk with you in a sense of the talking openly like it will be very very easy for you to share your concerns to share as well your fears to share in generally also your plans knowing that that individual is not going to uh, try to stop you nor is going to try as well to uh, boost your confidence because for that individual queen of cups too much confidence is not a good thing. That the purpose of the Queen of Cups, it is to make sure that whatever you are to do after the completion of this cycle is going to be long living. And that's why together you are going to deliberate a lot uh, and talking a lot about the prospects of the future. And uh, all that you talk about with Queen, Queen of Cups is going to be sound and safe. I mean, you can expect no secrets to be shared with a third parties. And the last one we do have, that is the Ten of Pentacles. So, uh, these conversations with the Queen of Cups is going to uh, make you feel very... Well, I said that she's not going to boost your confidence that much, but it's going to make you feel very confident in the sense of that you can deal with life whatever life throws at you. And that's why the feeling of confidence transforms into feeling of, of coziness, comfortability, okay? Feeling of that you are in the, on the right track in life, feeling that you are now independent, that's very, very important. Feeling that your trust had not been misused, feeling that whatever investments you came up with, or whatever idea for investments you came up with, while talking with the Queen of Cups here, that individual are going to worth it big time. And that's not just, be, that, that will not, that, oh my God. That's not going to be because you are being beguiled into it to make certain investments. That is going to be because through these profound conversations, you are going to alone deduct that those investments are a long-term investment. So you're not going to win many money or much money over a night. You are not going to enter straight away into a into hugely committed relationship where, you know, one day you are stra strangers and on the next day you get engaged. No, here we are talking about a slowly, progressively unfoldment and development. And just uh, something more practical here in between the Queen of Pentacles and uh, in between the Queen of Cups and the uh, Ten of Pentacles, the conversations may refer to the past and unfinished businesses into the past and there you are going to come up to the conclusion that you have to pretty much sort these things around with the past, seek closure. Uh, because otherwise, especially if we're talking about intimate relationships, because if you do not see closure with those uh, relationships from the past that ended up badly or straight away they didn't, didn't work out, you always are going to have trust issues. Uh, so yeah, that being said, Virgo, this was uh, your weekly general tarot reading December 29th, 28th, 2020 to January 3rd, 2021. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it, guys, and uh, we shall see each other next time. Until then, bye.